Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Kanga Seas of Civilization, a civilization building roguelike that I'm excited to be checking out again here today. I last played it about two years ago when it was still in early access. Since then, it's received a lot of updates, came out in 1.0, and I've been wanting to check it out again, so it's as good of a time as any now that there's a huge 1.1 patch that adds a massive amount of variety to the game. So, we're going to go back in, we're going to relearn the game from scratch. A huge thanks to the dev for giving me a code that unlocks all the characters and their B-sides, which is a new thing that has been added, which is basically an alternate set of moves or, like, abilities for every single uh, thinker, they call them. Which basically doubles the amount of characters you can play as, which is very, very cool. Alas, though, it's been two years, I'm going to relearn the game here. Here, you can pick a challenge on a map tile and embark to begin a game. More maps will be unlocked by completing quests. Walk me through or give me hints. I do remember a decent amount, so we'll go with that. Uh, active quest. You know, I'm not going to let that guide me here. Let's. What, what zone are we kind of vibing with? You know... I kind of like the uh, the bright green kind of zone here. That's the kind of vibe I'm in today. Let's go to Greenleaf. There's short, medium, and long. I'll go for a short one. We could always do multiple if it's truly super short. <laughs> we got... Uh, what is this? WSD to move your camera. Q and E to move left and right. Starting out, we're going to need to build a campfire. I do remember that much. Uh, so we're going to need to place it in a spot that covers a lot of good materials. And honestly, this spot looks really good over here. But whatever this that's doing is a little bit weird. Uh, here. That's a pretty good mix. Hopefully we can get these materials as well. I mean, they're all carrying some. So we're going to be building that bad boy. Hopefully, since we already got him, it, it's fine with the fact that it's not going to be in our circle. I remember that circle's where we can build. It's also the materials that we can gather. All right. Building our campfire. The hearth. The campfire is the center of your town and where your people will stand idle. Selecting the campfire will show you your current relations with your neighbors. So, whenever we upgrade, I think it's whenever we research, which I guess that counted as research, we get to basically choose from a draft, like a roguelike style draft, which is very exciting. Uh, so, right now we're picking our, our housing type. Small square houses that grow on grow bamboo behind them. Sounds fun. Round houses that allow braves to excavate clay from their surroundings. Huts made from reeds that allow for rapid population growth. You know, let's go for this one that can grow reeds behind them. Oops, hold on. I, wanna, I wanted to look at that again here. One sec. Grows bamboo behind the house, but only on grass. That's what I thought I saw. Okay. So it needs to be... Uh, okay. Needs to have grass behind it. You know, let's do a little bit of... Apparently we can... If we can build all the way the hell out here, then I don't see why not. These, I remember, are inspiration kind of points. If we stand by them, I think we get another draft. So build that house. It says we need to build four. So let us attempt to build four. Oh, shoot. That one's going to... That one's a no. That, don't do that one. Because there won't be enough grass behind it. Oh, do I have to ruin my nice even pathing? I do. Otherwise, I don't think we can grow anything behind it. Okay, so now we're researching food technologies. We're going to pick one of these three. A reliable and consistent way to bake inedible reeds into delicious food. Take reed, make it into food. One reed into food. Clay into food for food. Read into food. We have a lot of clay. We have so much clay. We should probably get a patty. Must be built on mud. 
Okay, we'll build that on mud. Maybe we'll build ourselves uh, another, in fact. Hopefully it doesn't matter that that's, like, immediately in front of my house. House complete. Houses are producing more people if there's steady smoke coming from them. Most buildings, including houses, need one person in order to operate. Cool. Let's get another research thing. Let's go over here. So what is this thing? Can I select a, a person? What is this something you can do? Question mark. You have you have no idea. I have no idea either, man. Don't 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 feel self conscious. Okay. You thinking? Almost done. Lotus pond. A small pond to slowly grow lotus as a source of silk fabric. Reed field grow farm of reeds. I mean that seems good. Place on mud. Hmm. Stone mine produce bricks out of the inside of a cliff. Or we can reject all and get a passive. I'm leaning towards reed field. Needs to be placed. Bonus if placed on dry soil. Mud. Dude, I don't know if there is such a thing as dry soil on this map. So, it's okay. We just don't get the bonus. That's fine. Make a reed field. Oh. Wait, what? Has to be placed on dry soil. Well, that's... That's a bummer. Festival Technologies. Walker Beacon. Floatsome Arena. Or the Ghastly Bonfire. So, we're playing as the B-side of the original character. Uh, walker Beckon, rather. Produces a walker, summon a walker, which is a giant beast that I think we can tame. A group of floating reed platforms built against the shore to fight on. Needs to be placed in the water, five reeds. Needs 20 population. So that's the thing. So this is a new thing. A festival that splits the souls of your people in half as they dance. Split the souls of your followers into two halves, killing them in the process. I need blast powder for that. I mean, I'll, I'll, I might as well get the ability to build this, since it's going to be 100% required. So we're building that. It's still not done. I do want to build another one of these, but I'm trying not to. Uh oh. A demand has been made. A neighboring tribe is demanding something. Select the demand table or click the notification to see what they want. You give two wood. I mean, that's fine. I mean, do I like that you're demanding that from me? No. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Okay, so you're hopefully going to be producing food here. What are, what's up with you, man? Are you- you're not my guy. That's the demand. He's got a different outfit. That's the demander. Okay, so we- We need more houses, we need more food, we need more everything, really. You get to work, dude. Please. Now, get to work. On the house. There we go. There we go. Now he's doing his thing. Oh my, one second. The music is so good, I got turned up. Very quaint, though. Don't want, it, don't want it to be blasting. Okay, so we're working on it. Okay, good. We're still working on it. The de demand is being met. Let's get some more research. We're wasting our time with you. So did we, um... Banners claim land and resources and are free to build, but it also increases the world ante and can make your neighbors upset. Okay. Oh, that's this. 
What is going on with you? This seems like danger. I don't know why. Okay. Patty's been built. That should help us get a little bit more food. House is, like, really having issues with getting that made. They're all really focusing on that. Get the house made. Come on, dude. How do I... How do I fix it up? It's like you're having issues getting to it. Is that the problem? Alright, dude. I'm done with you. We'll, we'll get it built eventually. Dismantle structure. We were working on it. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Stop building out this way. Stop building out this way. There's a freaking thing right in the middle there. It's a bit dangerous, probably. Stone mine, silk loom. Clay pit. Produces clay. Um, not that we have an issue with that yet. Endlessly produce clay one at a time. Or reject all and get passives. Uh, you know what? I'm curious. Braves get the ability to carry resources at full speed. Get the rain hats so they can't... They can still work while being rained on. Increase movement speed within your campfire's radius. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna go with carry stuff at full speed. That that sounds really useful. Uh, hey, 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 man. What are you doing? Get over there. You get over there. Okay. Alright, well, maybe I can get you to work on this one. They keep trying to. There we go. Dude. We'll click all of our braves and have them uh, work on this. Everybody together. Everybody together. There we go. Man. Hopefully I'll be able to get this one. I know our inspiration is done, but I just wanted to... Well, oh well, I'll go for it. Climbing pole. A lone log with grooves in it that your people can use to get up cliffs and across valleys. Bridges that can be built across gaps and even connect different elevations. That seems huge. It's very expensive, but that seems good. Like, if that can connect across water... Yeah, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, I promise. Okay, so you're back here. We could send you out and explore more. That's all I've got unless I want to go on, like, a huge trek. Or try and steal this one from literally inside their base, which they're not going to like. I don't think. I might even get attacked. Eh. You failed to deliver the demand. Oh, prepare for retaliation. Okay, get the hell out. That ain't good. That's not good. We're under attack. Dude, leave my thinker alone. Do I get some kind of a boost when I'm on my own home turf, man? Dude. Yeah, get out of my own freaking home base, jerk. I use you for freaking food. Okay, let's get everybody. For the love of God. They don't know how to build on this house. If they, Since they don't know how to build on it, I give up on it. That house is a lost cause. I'll build somewhere else where hopefully they understand. Okay. Give me everybody. Okay. They seem to get it. At least in part. Nah, you just go back doing your thing then. As long as somebody's working on it, we're we're good to go. Inspiration taken. That's that's fine. 
All right, you just go back and vibe. I don't know if I have any more inspirations I can get to safely here. That one's a maybe if I build a bridge for it, but like I feel like we kind of just need to uh, vibe and rebuild here. We got to get these houses going. That one caused quite a bit of a problem. The world's ante increases over time, and slowly, and when land is claimed, higher ante will increase the severity of Kang Kanga's events. Let's get this as well. Okay, we'll take all of the idle and have them move over here. They're, work they're working on it. Cool. Cool. So they're going to be building that little flag for us. We got some rain coming through. We got the house built. Oh my god, that took so much effort for such a silly thing. All right. One. We'll have a couple built over here. I guess I'll spread them out. Demand. I guess, you know, I'll meet it if I can. You give two food. I really can't handle it, but I will just do it. I mean, can I meet? Do I have to actually like move there to meet the demand? Because I could have sworn I tried to do it last time. They're very okay. It, it's it's close. I mean, they're so close to me, and the demand is like that, or we're gonna probably have massive issues. Patty built good. We're generating some more food. We're probably gonna want even more food yet. Yet another patty is probably a good call. But these houses are going to be nice. That's how we're going to actually get enough people to perform this ritual. Wait. Awkward. Okay, so we're going to need to find a way to... Wait. Oh, I can build it here. Okay. That's great to know. I mean, I can start building it, I guess. Or at least have it be a thing even though i can't i can't perform the ritual until i get more people okay demands met they're a little bit happier with us now uh oh god nomads arrive they're passing by be careful they may be aggressive <gasps> where's that they'll bite me they're having a party We'll build that bridge as well. well. Get a couple of those things going. We got the house built. We have a max of 18 uh, braves now. Which is helpful. I think we... Do we need 20 for the festival? Seems like that might be the case. We're starting to get a lot more people. Which means we're probably going to need a lot more food as well. So I'm just going to... We're going to have a lot of these projects kind of sitting around here. We got that other house built. We can afford to wait a little bit to work on another uh, house project. But the second we get that bridge, we can go up and explore these two. Which I don't know that these people are going to like. No, go across the bridge, dude. That's what it's there for. Oh my freaking god. Okay. All right, uh, I'm going to get a couple of you to chop down this tree then, I guess. Are you serious? I didn't, th I thought we were going to be able to go around it. Okay, well, this bridge is useless then. Cool, we got to build a more expensive bridge in addition. Oh, man. All right, all right, all right. We got storms of brewing. Oh, wait, it's a thunderstorm too. Please don't zap me. It's right over my base. Please no. How do I put out the fires? Uh. Get the hell out. Okay, the fires are gone, but we have to rebuild the house. Okay, please don't zap my leader. Please don't zap my leader. Oh, God. Okay, so this looks like it needs to be repaired. That's fine. It's not that, it, it could have been so much worse. Alright, leader. Get across here. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. And we're going to go for this one. Which looks like a fighting one. So they probably really will not like to see that. Okay. Uh... You know... Festival. Thinker? Thinker hurt. No, no, no. Get back. Get back. Oh my god, dude. Okay, I didn't realize you were going to be that mad. Okay, get back here. Get back to my home. Get back to my home. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say... Might be a good time to dismantle that bridge. <laughs> it was a lot of resources, but dang, dude. I mean, it's worth building the bridge again to get, uh, what, a, a pentakill? Like that? Okay, hold on. Uh, okay. We killed another person up here, too. Dude, where's this combat? Whatever's going on, you need to stop it. Stop. I mean, can I? No, no, no. If I can get that research, it would be great. Because apparently I need soldiers. I didn't want to have to need soldiers. Okay, well, screw you. All right, if this thunderstorm... Okay, it's just a no normal rainstorm. All right. I'm going to I'm going to watch very closely as we move up cuz this research seems oh my god what seems important for us right now. Okay, come on now. Uh it's flooded. Okay. Uh let's go back home. What the hell? Okay, there's a big monster. My fire is gone. Barracks and archery range. A melee warrior equipped with sword and shield or trained archers that shoot arrows quickly. Where are the archers? That sounds fun. Okay, so we got a flood to deal with, it looks like. That is great. Pop that down. Area is now flooded. Inundated houses cannot be used. Wait for it to subside and plan better in the future. So... I know that the uh, the B-side of this has risers, so that would have been all of those houses dead. That's crazy talk. Uh, dude, what? Uh, back it up. Back it up. This is getting silly okay must we seriously fight everybody get in here murder these fools I mean this is not exactly how I wanted to spend my my guy is here. Okay. Somebody in there? Is this producing people? Is that what this is? That sucks. That sucks that that's here. In that case. Yeah, that that straight up is producing these guys. And they are mad at me. Ghastly bonfire requires eight people. We need the explosion stuff. Uh, logs and any to upcycle items into a random, more complex resource. I don't know how to get blast powder. Like, I have no clue. Walker beckon. Might call a snail, you could call a walker instead.
Okay, we need... We don't need that many more people in order to call this festival. So let's, um... Let's get this done. Just want to make sure. Okay. So we have a max cap of 21 already. We're, we're already going to be fine. I think we just kind of want to avoid this. Okay. God, screw you, guy. All right. We're building this archery range. That'll be nice. Nomads arrive. We could try and tame this thing. That could be fun. We'll see. Let's try and tame this. Totano. Oh my god, it's... Oh my god, we have so many guys. A tamed beast needs a rider to maintain control. Taming a new beast will spawn a source of inspiration for beast technologies. We straight up... He's ours now. <laughs> Alright, everybody else get back to work. Uh, uh. Shake. that do? I mean, well, we I know we have the beast technology thing. In the beginning. Okay, so... This is almost done. I don't know what that shake did. Is there like a... Capture seeds from the water and drops them into the soil. Occasionally drops seeds from its frills, which sprout into palm trees, bamboo, or reeds. That's fun. Okay, so we have 20. We could do this now. We could host the festival. Which would be the end, but I want to vibe just a little bit more. Let's get our archery range going. And let's, uh, let's murder this big style. We're out of food? Oh, we're not. Archery range now built. Are we sending you in there to become an archer? Is that... I think that's what happens. Beast saddle. Upgrade a tame beast to hold two passengers or items on top. Sure. Uh, how does one... How does one build that, actually, though? Capacity reached. They're holding a festival up there. You know, sure. We just need to make sure the back is fine there. Got an archer. Let's get another person sent him in here. Get another person sent him in here. Let's get, uh, we can get four archers, theoretically. I don't know if we can, we have to wait until they're, yeah, we have to wait until they're done. But getting four archers to defend ourselves sounds lovely. Okay, just waiting. Okay, come on, get in there. We got two archers. I mean, I think he's waiting in a queue here. This poor man is not going to know what hit him. He's standing on my special space. Poor, poor sap. Okay, now your turn to get in there. We're going to get the four archers. Not that we need to. Okay, maybe we... You, this guy's standing in the fire. Four idle. Are we fine? We, we, we're fine on food. We're fine on everything. Five lost souls total. I mean, I think we're good to go. Collab. Of course. I'm going to go ahead and uh, host the festival. Well, we have pe enough people alive. This guy's just going to... He's also just... He's just part of the festival. Oh, my lord. Uh, please... Don't... Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh. 
Uh, everybody get out. Don't stand in the fire, for the love of God. Put each other out. Did I do it? I think I did it. I did it. I successfully hosted an arena. New tech unlocked windmill, a tail sail, wait, a tall sail tower to push clouds away, protecting your town. So there's just like all kinds of stuff that we get. We also got new karma unlocks. Thanks. Which I believe, or new karma, which we can use to buy new options. The trials are complete to become a thinker. You will lead villagers to thrive or die and compete with the other thinkers in the wild lands of Kainga. Oh, my lord. All right. Hey, thank you, everybody, for saying such nice things. So, yeah, these are all... Whoop, thinkers are not the enemies when they're in Skyloft. Instead, they'll chat about ch the challenges. Different thinkers can be unlocked and played by completing the quest lines. So, yeah, there's, like, just a whole bunch of different ones that have different things they start with, different festivals they have as their plans and, like, requirements you would need for them, uh, different starting crews, stuff like that. And, you know, now there's also the alternate B-side as well, which is quite cool. Start with hats instead. A cloud is always following above you. Nearby buildings' production speed is occasionally boosted. Interesting. On top of the fact that you have, like, all of these different, you know, colors and stuff you can align. It's just, it's just fun. It's just neat. I like it. I really, really like it. Karma Shop has been closed. Oops. Choose a quest line and complete the list of challenges to receive an unlock. So in order to get this, I think we had to do that quest that it suggested right at the beginning. But hey, I kind of wanted to leave that just in case you guys wanted more of this. Because honestly, it would not take that much convincing for me to play more of it at this point. I I really enjoyed myself and seeing all the different variety options we have for different leaders, different zones. This update added just tons and tons of uh, variety. Hence the life life of spice, I think it was called. Yeah, hence the life of Spice. There's new map modifiers, B-side thinkers, different challenges, nomads are new, 24 different new festivals, etc., etc. Uh, but alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today for Kanga Seeds of Civilization. If you want more of it, let me know in the form of a comment down below. My name is Retromation. cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you are into, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.